Good morning, fellow peeps and folks. I'm Allie, and today we are watching Overlord, Season 1, Episode 6, Journey. And it basically tells me nothing more than I already knew, because last time we've had a lot of setup for, you know, a quest, basically, that um, we're doing in some capacity, and problems that might occur. So, not really anything that was very, very plot relevant. The most plot relevant stuff was like about the potion that was way, way more expensive and way more pure and stuff than everything the potion people there, the, the ones that know their stuff have seen. Um, but yeah, um, most of the important stuff will probably happen during this, maybe the next episode here. So I guess we will just jump right in. All right, let's see what they're doing. Let's see what will happen there in three, two, one, and go. Because, you know, that's just... We've had a lot of setup, so now we're waiting for the payoff. I wonder how long this little arc will be, because the last arc was only two episodes long, kind of. I would say so, because that was like the whole Carnia Village thing going on. All right, the forest. Well, that's the party we're going on the road with. All right. A little bit of a higher ground and stuff. There's water and, you know. Yeah, that was established before. I guess we'll see. If necessary. Yeah, and you're back again at it, right? Well, if you want to be the eyes and ears, keep your eyes and ears open. <laughs> wow. Wise king of the forest territory. All right, who's the wise king of the forest? All right. Uh, tail of a snake, like literally there is a snake. <laughs> I thought just, you know, the backside of the snake, but apparently there's a, actually a snake head at the end of that. I guess, interesting design. <laughs> Okay, so we've seen those people already. Okay, we haven't seen yet the last shot and the blue-haired guy before, but most of the others we've met already. 
like the girl with a potion uh, than you know the the item people there. We've had the adventuring party. We've had uh, the two people that are like in the underground, um, in like the script place that we've seen last time. So yeah, we've we've met a lot of the people in the intro already. Just you know, the the last two shots are basically of of the of the other characters. Journey. Yep. So what are you doing here? What are you doing? Um, we're not asking that. It is very, very clear what she was about to do. <laughs> You're asking her to don't take them too far. <laughs> uh, what? Really? She's got a... Wow. Just, just wow. Sure, because... Yeah. Girl, just... You're, you're crazy. I mean, yeah, that that was basically um, at some at some point uh, that was custom to even dress young boys in dresses, and uh, I mean, why not? <laughs> Their dresses. But yeah, why just make clothes that are good for just any gender? You don't have to, you don't have to differentiate too much, especially not for kids. Not really. Yeah, don't don't talk right now. It might be suspicious. <laughs> Let's just move on. All right. So you were keeping your ears open. Oh, okay. Hi, goblins. Let's fight. I guess we'll see how we're gonna take on low-level monsters. <clears throat> Will he need combat support? Okay, so they do have plans. All right. Oh, 
All right, so they all have their roles, of course. Is that a special arrow? Or just a decoy? That is basically entangle, yeah? <laughs> They're just walking there. Let's see, let's see. That worked. Yeah, basically just cutting them in half. <laughs> They're getting scared of you. <laughs> that is good. Well, they still need training, but that's fine. They're on a good path. You know, without you, it might have taken them a little bit longer to defeat them, but... You know. Ooh. Lightning bolt! The goblins are like, uh, nope. Back this shit, I'm out. No. Oh. Apparently not. It's, it's, they don't disappear and drop stuff. They, they're just corpses. That's a difference from the game world, I guess. You know, some things are similar, but some things are also very different. With time, yeah. So they're bonding here. Yeah, <laughs> that that's a problem. Let's not do that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Just just pulled that out like this, right? <laughs> Okay. All right. Thirteen heroes. Probably. <laughs> I don't have to ask. Thank you. Okay. That's a big goal.
Just, you know, black blades. Nice. <laughs> I have, like, in my writing, in my, in my novel trilogy, I have a, I have a blade that's that dark. It, it's even darker. It basically absorbs light. And it's drinking a little bit of blood <laughs> here in my finale that I'm still writing. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. His guild. Hmm. Oh, getting a little bit of information on how he feels about having the guild. Yeah, not exactly like that. It's difficult. Because he's in such a, well, strange situation in a way. Ah, beautiful sky. <laughs> Hmm. Well, they could as well be dead. They're not existing in this world. I mean... He has to accept that he's probably never gonna see them again. Also, if he, if he met them in the game, you know... There, there's no way to say if even outside of the game they would still stick together since the game is dismantled anyway. Well. I mean... At least, if not higher. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah, that that's putting it lightly. Yeah, he never said where he's from. Do they though? <laughs> Do they? Okay. I mean, yeah, I guess. Sure. 
Sure. Don't learn from him. Just don't. <laughs> Everyone's just... Uh, well... This, this advice is just... Really being persistent is what you're going for. A no is a no, so if... Being persistent doesn't change anything usually. So either either she likes you back or not. That's that's all in question there. <laughs> okay, you seem to enjoy killing. Of course. I just said it that you seem to enjoy it, so thanks for the affirmation. You're a sadist. Well. All right, so is this like a possession thing? Hmm. Necromancy. Mm-hmm. All right. And what is the point? Mm-hmm. Wow, and what is the goal? Okay. Immortality is the goal. Okay. <sighs> All right. So we got a sadist killer and a necromancer who wants to become immortal. That's an interesting team up, I guess. I mean, not that original, but I mean, <laughs> she won't kidnap more. She just, you know, she's going to kill them. Mm hmm. So that's it. So we got another episode that was basically most of the time you know one group and then we got a little glimpse of them again yeah I mean like I said it's not a very original thing oh there's an acromancer and of course he's bad and then there's the sadist killer and you know, immortality as a goal is also pretty, pretty mainstream. <laughs> but I guess, uh, you know, that, that's it. <laughs> we'll see when they will try to kidnap the N Neferia. That, that name sounds like a girl's name. Probably because in a one-shot we had a 
character called Nifira. And that was a woman, so <laughs> I I don't know. But yeah. Other than that, I mean, we had the escort mission going on, you know? And that's the episode. So I I talked a little bit about the, the bad guys' plans there, so um I'm gonna just talk over what else happened. Basically, the only important thing there was the fight against, you know, the goblins and the ogres and stuff, um, where, of course, um, someone uh, had to show off. <laughs> and then we had the talk at the campfire. Um, so, of course, um, there's still some sadness going on because of the guild, um, because he's probably never going to see them again. And... You know, that that's that's a thing. I mean, you can't really change anything about that. And yeah, um, and we got a little bit more background for the adventuring party. Um, so sort of darkness refers to you know the the the, the legendary swords basically there, and they have uh, little knives that are dark um, to represent that. And, I mean, we, we got a goal for them, we basically have a little bit of background. Um, but yeah. I don't think anything more happened, honestly. The, the, the pacing is pretty, you know, slow. Uh, not, not much is happening in one episode yet. Um, I don't know how the pacing will evolve in you know, the next episodes and stuff, um, but really nothing more happened than them just starting out on their journey and talking. <laughs> but yeah, um, today in this recording session I will still watch three episodes more, so until episode nine, so we'll see. I was told that episode eight wouldn't be a good cutoff point, by, but episode nine would be. So, um, I guess those two episodes at least are kind of connected. Um, we'll see if they're connected to what we have right now, too, or if this will actually already be another arc. I don't know, but, um, I guess we'll see. So, um, I don't really have anything else to say about this episode. Um, I mean, it's enjoyable, it's just not much to theorize on and stuff. Um, it's just, I'm, I'm just watching and, you know, waiting until the story takes off even more. <laughs> but on this note, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.